Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And for today's video, I'm going to help this noob reach second C using Katana. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Are you ready, guys? Okay, so before we start grinding, as you can see, I have lots of bellies. So, first tip make sure to buy the Busuhaki located in the Frozen Village. This increases your damage as well as your defense. So this will make your grinding faster, especially that we're using only katana. Okay? So at first, you can also buy Sky Jump. So that will cost you like 30,000 bellies. And that's it, guys. I think we are ready to grind now. So we're gonna start with the bandits. Again, we're gonna lure. And we're gonna use our first skill, the Quiet Rush. That's it, I think. Uh, four quiet rush. There we go. And some left clicks is enough. Our target level here, again, is level 10. And that's it. We can now move on to our next island. And that island is the jungle. So we're gonna start with the monkeys. Guys, I suggest you defeat them one at a time. There you go, because they're kind of far away. And our energy so far is kind of low. But if you want, you can also lure. It really depends what you think is faster but for me what i did is the left clicks and while doing this i am familiarizing myself with the dash and left click i'm gonna show it to you later there you go the goal here is to reach level 15. here are the stats guys as you can see i am putting 15 melee defense and sword so balanced next up the gorillas so guys here it's kind of easy just lure them here and you can just do left clicks see that they will rarely hit you which means you can take advantage of this and level up fast, okay? You can stay here until level 30, but guys, if you want, at level 20, you can start defeating the mini boss in this island, and that boss is the Gorilla King. So he is located here. Guys, now you can use your Z skill, and this is what I'm talking about, the left click dodge. See that? Left click dodge. So you can hit him, and he cannot hit you back. Which is really helpful in order for you to survive this grinding stage. Again, we are only using the katana. This is the cheapest and one of the weakest weapons in this game. Okay, so gamer Nom, what is our goal here? Guys, our goal here is not level, but the mastery. As you can see, master 20, we will unlock the air slash. And this will be helpful for our grinding. That's our main goal here. So once you unlock that skill, next up, Marine Fortress. We're gonna start luring petty officers here. Now we can lure four, which means grinding is faster. You're gonna use your quiet rush and air slash simultaneously. Z, there you go, X, ZX, 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 and ZX until you defeat them. Is it hard gamer no? No. You just need to be patient. See that guys? Grinding here is fast. So I stopped grinding here when I reached level 46. I'm gonna show you my stats for for reference. There you go, 25 melee defense, sword 88. What's next, gamer? No, next is the Fountain City. So here we're just gonna lure. There you go, the galley pirates, and do this, guys. Don't click this fast, okay? Cannot damage your butt and knock your enemy back. There's a chance that it will release its range attack. Okay, so be patient here. You're gonna grind here until when? until you reach level 60 because the level 55 boss won't be affected by sword right buggy in the pirate village there you go this is my final stats 25 mil defense all in the sword next island the desert and we're gonna start it off with the desert bandits there you go same is strategy with the bandits we're just gonna lure four because there are only four here one two three and four and use z and x skill that's it there's no any other way. So far, grinding is not that hard, to be honest. But you need to be patient. Next target is belly, not level. Why gamer no? Once you reach 50,000, in my situation 60,000, go back to the marine fortress. Go here in this tower. There you go. And you need to buy accessories. And that accessory is the black cape. This increases your HP, energy, and damage. Okay? You're gonna go back to desert until level 75. Next stop, desert officers. So they're located here. There 
you go. So you're gonna lure. Left clicks, left clicks. There you go. Use your Z and X. And that's it. Guys, as you can see, I am using accessories here just to increase our damage. I even bought Haki earlier for us to reach our goal really fast. After you acquire the Black Cape, you will go back to the desert and level up until you reach level 90. And after that, stat check first. 13 melee defense, sword, 210. Next up, the Frozen Village. So here, we're gonna start with the Snow Bandits. Again, same, we're gonna lure them. And use your Z and X skill until you reach level 105. So that's just 15 levels. Because next, we're gonna focus on the Yeti. So our technique here is almost the same. Use your Z and X skill. And while waiting for the cooldown, use your left click dash. Left click dash. There you go. As you can see, it cannot damage me. So you're just gonna do this until you defeat him. Repeat until you reach level 130. Yes, you're gonna start doing server hop, stat check, 50 mil defense, 293 sword. Next area, we're back in the marine fortress for the third time, I think. So we're gonna go directly to the vice admirals. There you go, Z and X skill. After that, uh, dodge to the side, wait for him to use his own skill. There you go, and then you can use your left clicks, dash, or you can use your skills. Make sure that it is in cooldown. There you go. The goal here is to reach level. 220 after that we can now move on to our next island but before that stat check melee 100 defense 100 460 sword next island is the prison so here we have three mini bosses first up is the warden same strategy guys zx and left clicks okay so here we're just gonna level up 10 times because again when you reach level 230 you will be unlocking your next mini boss which means gamer nom yes you can defeat two mini boss when you reach level 230 and after 230 you will be unlocking the third mini boss here swan which means you can defeat three mini bosses in one server so make sure to do server hop properly okay okay same strategy here guys z x and dash to the side Stat check, 115 melee, 160 defense, 775 sword. Next area, the Magma Village. Here, we're gonna start defeating the Magma Admiral. So our strategy here is again use your Z and X skill and wait for him to launch his own skill. And that skill is that one. Once you dodge that, you can attack him. At first, maybe you'll get hit. But once you get used to it, everything will be a lot easier. So, what is our goal level here? You will keep on defeating him until you reach level 425. So once you reach that level, stat check first. 130 melee, defense 200, sword 948. Next area, the underwater city. Here we're gonna skip the other mobs. We're gonna go straight with the mini boss, the fishman lord. This boss has two layers of HP. So how do you defeat him? Guys, just remember this one. Check his arms. When he's about to raise it, something like that, make sure to dodge. Because he is about to launch his trident, and once you get used to that, this boss is really easy to defeat. But there is an easier way. Lure him here. As you can see in the glass window, there you go, just keep on hitting him. But you can still get hit by one of his skills, which is fine, guys. Because you can recover your HP really fast. Your goal here is to reach level 500, and after that, stat check. 175 melee, defense is 250, sword is 1075. Next area, the upper yard. Go. So we're gonna start defeating here the Whisper. Do server hop, guys. There you go, Z. X skill. Use some left clicks and make sure to dodge to the side because he's about to use his bazooka. There you go. Just keep on repeating it. Skills, dodge, skills, attack. There you go. Goal here is to reach level 575. Go next up, our second to the last boss, actually the third to the last boss, Thunder God. So he's located here. Same strategy. The range of his uh what goes pole is kinda short, which makes him easier to defeat. There you go, that's the skill to dodge. Left clicks, left clicks, use your Z and X skill, and everything will be easy. So for our target level, the goal here is to reach level 675. Oh, we exceeded it, but that's fine. Go oh, and after we defeat this, we will do our final stat check. Okay, so our stats 
melee 250, defense 375, sword 1403. Next up, Fountain City. Here we're gonna defeat Cyborg 25 times. There you go, or maybe just 20 to reach level 700. So you're gonna use your skills, left clicks, and then dodge. Okay, dodge to the side, wait for it to use his skill. After that, your skills are mostly on cooldown. Use it, some left clicks, and start dodging again. Okay? So if you do that correctly, you will easily defeat this boss, but uh, it will cost you some time, but it's okay, guys. The goal here is to reach level 700, and after that, quest, go to the prison, talk to the military detective, he will give you a key, go to the frozen village, you will use the key to open the door and defeat Ice Admiral. After that, go back to the prison. Next up, go to the middle town, talk to the experienced captain, and that's it for this video. So guys, what do you think? Gamernome, is it hard? Mm, guys, I'm so used to grinding, so I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, challenging because you need to be patient. Aside from that, I am planning to do True Triple Katana reaches 3rd C. So if you want that, just comment it on the comment section. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamernome, and Gamernome out!